So, you need to come for an operation. Ever wondered what's going to happen, who you will meet, and what you'll need to do? Sarah and her mum are going to show you what happens when you're in hospital. Firstly, you'll need to find the children's ward. This is where you'll stay before and after your operation. The staff in here are there to look after you and make sure that you have everything you need. You'll be shown to your bed where you can play during your stay. The nurse who will look after you will come and do lots of things to make sure you're ready. They may get you to stand on the scales to see how much you weigh. Remember to take your shoes off. Check your temperature. Put a little peg on your finger to see how much oxygen is in it. Put a special armband on which gives you a little squeeze to check your blood pressure. They'll also put some magic cream on both hands. This may make your hands feel really tingly. You'll need to get changed into your pyjamas and the nurse will give you a special wristband with your name on it. Now, lots of different people will come to see you. One may be a play specialist. It is their job to help explain what's going to happen and may show you some of the different things you might see when you go to the anaesthetic room. The anaesthetic room is the room where you will go to sleep for your operation. Some doctors will also come to see you. One will be a surgeon who will ask you lots of questions and answer any questions you have. They may also need to do a little drawing on you. Maybe you can do this yourself. Another doctor who will come and see you is the anaesthetist. They will ask you lots of questions too. It is the anaesthetist job to make you go to sleep and look after you through the operation. You can ask them any questions you want too. They will listen to your chest and look in your mouth to check that everything is okay. They will also explain what will happen when you go to the anaesthetic room. Your nurse might then come and give you some medicines. These may make you feel a little bit sleepy. After all that is done, you can have a play until it's time for your operation. One of our team will come and get you from the ward, check your special wristband and take you to the anaesthetic room. Sometimes you will walk and sometimes you will go on a trolley like this one. See how Sarah's mum can stay with her? Wave goodbye to everyone, you'll see them later. The hospital is a bit of a maze, so you need someone who knows the way. Now you have arrived at the anaesthetic room, where you will meet some more people. We are all here to look after you, and we all wear silly pyjamas. The ODP is the person that helps the anaesthetist and will do lots more checks. They will check your wristband and your notes again. They will also check the drawing you did. You may meet a different anaesthetist and sometimes you will have two anaesthetists looking after you. There may also be some more nurses and other helpers too. We might put some special monitoring on you so that we can make sure everything's okay. This might be by putting some sticky dots on your chest, putting on another special armband and another little peg on your finger. There are different ways that the anaesthetist may choose to make you go to sleep. This will depend on different things like what operation you're having and how old you are. One way is by wiping off the magic cream and putting a little plastic tube called a cannula on the back of your hand where the cream was. It looks a little bit like a colourful dragonfly. 
a sticky plaster will stop it flying away. The ODP or anaesthetist may give you a special mask to breathe through. Sometimes this happens with Sarah lying on the bed and sometimes while sitting on her mum's lap. The anaesthetist will give the dragonfly a drink of water and a drink of milk. This will start to make you feel really sleepy and very soon you'll be completely asleep. When Sarah falls asleep, her mum gives her a kiss and goes and waits outside. Another way the anaesthetist may choose for you to go to sleep is by just using the special mask. It may be a little bit pongy. Some children say it smells like felt tip pens. As you breathe in and out, you might be able to see the special balloon going up and down. See if you can make it go really big. You'll start to feel really sleepy and soon you will be completely asleep. Sometimes you can become a little bit wriggly once you're asleep. Sometimes the anaesthetist will choose not to use a mask. They will place their hand on the bottom of your chin. This time, their gloves may be a bit pongy like felt tip pens. You will start to feel very sleepy and soon be completely asleep. Sarah's mum then helps put her on the bed. Now you're happily asleep and if you brought a cuddly toy with you, they can stay with you for your operation. When your operation is over, you will be looked after in the recovery room by one of our nurses. You will have a different mask on now this will help you wake up. As Sarah wakes up, her mum can come back and see her. Soon, you'll be able to go back to your bed on the children's ward. Back through the maze again. Can you remember the way? You'll stay here for a while to make sure everything's okay, so make sure you get comfy. Your nurse will come and check everything is okay for you to go home. And that's it, your operation is done and you can now go home. <laughs>